Hey everybody, in our first kinematics lab, we're trying to figure out how fast this dart is going to be shot out of this Nerf gun launcher. Um, this is a regular little Nerf gun. Um, you kind of pull out this plunger thing, and you get some compressed air that can then shoot into the end of this dart. Um, I've put a washer on top of the dart, can you see that? Uh, because otherwise it'll go like really high and really far. So we put the washer on there so it doesn't go as high when we shoot it vertically or not as far if we shoot it horizontally place it into the um, Nerf gun and then when I pull the trigger it will shoot in obviously whatever direction I am pointing the gun. So we're actually just going to shoot it straight up. It'll go straight up, it'll reach a maximum height where it's going to stop and then it's going to start to fall back down. We know some things about this scenario already. For instance, when we fire it, what's going to make it slow down? We know what force that is and we should have an idea of what exactly that acceleration is slowing down our dart. We also know that when it gets to its highest height, it'll have a certain velocity. What velocity is it going to have the instant it reaches its highest height before it starts to fall back down? That's something else we know about this scenario. The objective for you is to figure out, calculate, how fast the Nerf dart is leaving this gun. So that would be its initial velocity as it's leaving the chamber. We should know what the acceleration is acting on it as it gets higher and higher, and we should know the final velocity at its highest height. Let's take a look at our setup. We actually have the same setup from the example lab that I did, where we dropped a bouncy ball and looked at its rebound height. I have two meter sticks set up vertically, going all the way down to the ground. At the ground, we have a support rod that is holding one of our Nerf guns. We're going to fire the Nerf gun and see how high the Nerf dart travels before reaching its highest position and then falling back towards the ground. We'll probably do this five times or so because it's not going to leave the Nerf gun with the exact same speed every time, so you may want to find an average of those five trials that we do. Our meter sticks go all the way down to the ground, but the Nerf dart is going to be launching from this height right here. This is our first meter stick. The bottom of this meter stick is on the ground, and this is the height where the Nerf dart is being launched. All right, let's take a look. Oh man, come back, where did it go?